Hey everybody, um, welcome back again to my channel. Uh, I am Eats with Ginger and Spice, and I don't think I ever really explained my name. So I have a cooking channel that's called Ginger and Spice, and I could be either one, Ginger or Spice, but so I, I named it actually after me and my dog, Allie. Um, she's redheaded just like me. We have the same exact hair color. So she's ginger and I'm spice because I do all the spicy cooking. Um, so now let's eat with ginger and spice for my mukbang channel. But anyways, anywho, today we're going to be doing two pounds of live crawfish that I got from Boiling Seafood. And I am very excited. They're very, very small. But they're super juicy, super delicious. Um, they did kind of mess up my order and give me the wrong sauce. And they forgot my blue crab. But that's okay. They called me. I was already home. I'm just really far from them. So um, they're going to give me a free one next time or something comparable in price. They're super nice. They always make good on any mistakes, but they're usually pretty good. So back here, I have some uh, Vietnamese kind of seafood dipping sauce. It's just lemon with salt and pepper. Uh, I would put, normally I would put cayenne in it too, but they, like I said, they gave me the wrong the wrong um, sauce and so this is actually their super spicy one which is really good on its own it's just very spicy but it's also just their garlic sauce um, I like the one that's mixed with the Cajun and the um, lemon pepper so I wanted the lemon to give it that little freshness and <laughs> I'm using gloves today guys because I actually have some little Bitty cuts like all over my hands and so I didn't want to get this spicy sauce into my cuts and so we're gonna try to struggle through peeling these with gloves I have not ever done that they've offered them to me at places before but yeah eating crawfish boiled seafood whatever is messy you just gotta know that but anyways I hope that y'all are doing well and I'm just gonna go ahead and dig in um, I don't know if y'all know this, but I pray before every time I eat, and I already did. I know that some people aren't about that life, but, you know, just bless the food that nourishes your body and be thankful for where it comes from, whether you believe in God or not. It's kind of a good practice. Mm. Oh my gosh, there's so much head butter in this. Look at this. Sorry, I got some of the shell in my mouth. So I just like to dip the head in. Get that little zing of lemon right at the end so good so I was originally planning to do ASMR with these crawfish and give that a try oh they're so <clears throat> buttery and slippery <laughs> um, but I was going to ask them for some frozen crawfish because the fresh ones are so young, they have very, very soft shells right now. That doesn't really make for a very good ASMR video. There's like no cracking or crunching. So, we're doing a mukbang instead. And I will try again soon.
You take it lots of good sucking noises, so. That whole head kind of just fell apart. That's all right. So these are a little bit overcooked, unfortunately, just because they're so small. So um, soft shelled, and then my thirty minute drive home didn't help. Plus setup time because I was not quite prepared. I normally try to be ready for these when I get home with the food so that they don't sit, but. I was out for appointments and errands this morning, so I did not get set up. Excuse me. So y'all let me know, I've been thinking about doing like an in-restaurant mukbang. What do y'all think of that? Since I work remotely, I can kind of go at the off times where it's not so crowded, but you know, I won't have everything. There will be other noise and stuff. And I just don't know um, if y'all would like that or not. So let me know in the comments below what you think. I may give one a shot. Maybe I'll do... Um, crawfish kind of challenge at one. I was thinking about doing my, um, I found a place that'll serve ganjang gejang. I was thinking about doing it there, but The uh, ASMR people, I think, would prefer if I can have good sound for that one. That's a lot of cracking and sucking and good ASMR noises.
Oh, I have a sneeze stuck in my nose. Don't you hate that? Well, this is really spicy, so it's not helping by making my nose run. And it's supposed to storm here today. So I'm sure the weather's blowing in some crap to mess with my allergies and sinuses. Sorry, I've got some shell in my mouth. Mm. So good. It's been a while since I had crawfish. It's almost time where I can buy it myself and I'm so excited. Mm. Mm -mm. That one, that one had a metallic -y taste. Mm. So, do any of y'all ever have anxiety attacks? So I used to have them all the time during high school. Like, I mean, a couple a day sometimes. And that's actually why I have Allie now. She's a service dog. Kind of helps keep me calm. Um, I haven't, I hadn't struggled with them in years. I finally got a lot of that worked out, but then lately, after being not feeling well for so long again, it started creeping up. And yesterday. Some things happen. Um, stupid things. Um, delivery times changed without my knowledge, and I had to couldn't leave the apartment all day because of it. I had to cancel appointments. Call customer service repeatedly, like all kinds of stuff. Y'all, I went into a tailspin. I mean, it was pretty bad. I hadn't, I hadn't been that bad in a long time. It was not pleasant. So I hope that if any of y'all are going through anything like that, that you know you're not alone. And, you know, find someone to talk to and try to look at all the positive things that are happening, even in the midst of the panic attack. I know, it's really hard. 
And I know sometimes you just want to curl up in a ball and cry. But sometimes you just really have to pull yourself up, you know? That one's dirty. <clears throat> but yeah. If you are going through anything like that, just don't be afraid to share it with the people that care about you. You know? You may have to tell them, hey, don't try to fix me right now. Just listen to me. Because I know a lot of times when I'm in those tailspins, I don't necessarily want all the advice, you know. I just want someone to listen to me. I just want to feel heard and understood. So... Trust those people that love you. Let them walk through it with you. They'll, they'll be there. Oh my gosh, so good with the lemon. So Kim Thai, eat with Kim. Yeah, she inspired my name. I'm not very creative. Um, but she is the one where I learned this, that Vietnamese little dipping sauce. She usually uses muyak, which is chili, Vietnamese chili salt. Well, like I said, I didn't want the I didn't want the chili. Spice is getting real, y'all. After I had that stomach bug for so long, I haven't eaten a whole lot of like serious spice. Not like I used to. Remember, um, 
y'all haven't seen my first videos, I did the nuclear fire challenge. Oh, those noodles were easy. They were delicious. I ate them, like, pretty regularly and just for fun after that. Um, but now, I don't know. Mm. Wow. I don't really know when y'all are going to be seeing this because I am filming in advance in preparation for oral surgery. Um, so, it's already my second video for the day. And I am getting very, very full. Normally this would be absolutely no problem. But yeah, I'm 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 pretty full. So let's do one more. We're gonna do this big one here. And I'm gonna call it quits. Oh wait, my battery's dying. So that'd be good timing. Mm. Look at this claw. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna dip that one. All right. I just have a little bit left. I know it looks like a lot, but it's a lot of sauce. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and de-shell these. 
And I'm going to let y'all go, but thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you soon. Y'all have a super, super blessed day. And if you like this video, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And if you like to watch cooking videos, the link will be down below, and my Instagram is down below as well. And y'all, I'd really appreciate if you share this with your friends that enjoy mukbangs or ASMR. Those are coming soon. Um, and please, 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 I am super open to constructive cr criticism. I, I got a new mic. Let me know what you think. I have a new light. Let me know what you think. I am very new to this, and I'm trying. So let me know how I'm doing. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a good one. Bye.